Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulullah ve alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Amin. Allahümme la, Allahümme enfa'ni bima allemteni ve allemni bima yenfa'ni ve zidni ilmen. Ya Allah'ın rahimin. Amin. Ya Rabbil Alemin. My topic today is about medicine and lymphadine obafi. How to look at them and how to name the stations. International Association. This is depending on the International Association for Study of Lung Cancer. IASLC. We have five stations. Subarachidavicular station, superior mediastinal node station, aortic node station, inferior mediastinal node station, and high love, lobal and subsegmental node station. Subarachidavicular node station, it is above the clavicle and extended from the lower margin of the cricoid to the level of the minivarium and it is on both sides on the right side and on the left side. It is also including the lower cervical lymph nodes and the sternal nodes. Here this is some example of left subarachidavicular lymph node and here another bilateral lymph node, one lymph node on the left side and one lymph node on the right side. And here, this is a left side lymph node uh, as the arrow mentioned. Superior mediastinal node station include two to four uh, and include upper baratracheal lymph nodes on the right side and on the left side, include the prevascular nodes on 3A and the vertebral 3B and the lower baratracheal node on the right side and left side. As you see in this picture, this is the trachea and the midline, this is the carina and this is the right menobronchus, left menobronchus. And uh, Above tracheal lymph node on the right side is to extend from the above tracheal region from the below the clavicle to go to the innominate vein and on the left side extended to the above margin of the aortic arch and on the right above tracheal lower part for R on the right side extended from the superior vein and cava to the azygous vein and on the left side extended to the uh, from the aortic arch above margin of the aortic arch to the main bronchus and here you see the subterranean nodes and the uh, hilar nodes on the both sides and this is the baroesophageal nodes and the pulmonary ligament nodes. And this is same what we described. This is the above baroesophageal on the right side, and above baroesophageal on the left side, and above baroesophageal, lower baroesophageal on the right side, and lower baroesophageal on the left side. Aortic nodes, we have two nodes, subaortic node and baroaortic node. The baroaortic node, it is anterior and lateral to the ascending aorta and the aortic arch, and the subaortic node, it is lateral to the ligamentum arteriosum, and it is located between the aorta and pulmonary trunk, and it is also left to the left pulmonary artery, previously called our two pulmonary nodes. Inferior mediastinal nodes, we have the subcarinal nodes, paraesophageal nodes, and pulmonary ligament nodes. The last station, it is high love, low buff, and subsegmental nodes, and they form 10 to 14, and these nodes are in one nodes, according to the, the uh, 
cancel association. Let us see some example. As we see here, there is node on the right power tracker region, node on the right power tracker region on the right side, and this is below above, below the enuminate below the enuminate and above and above the aortic arch. So this is the right power tracker on the right side and the left power tracker on the on the left side. Here you see right power tracker on the right side, large lymph node, and here you see nodes on the prevascular space anterior to the vessels, and this is a prevascular lymph node. Here in another, uh, the same patient with renal cancer with metastatic lymph node. This is at the level of the aortic arch. Um, and this is the superior venal cover. So we are on the bower aortic level, on the lower part. This is on the right side, and this is on the right side, bower aortic. And this is on the left side, bower aortic level, on the lower part. And here, this is the aortic arch, and this is lateral to the aortic arch. So this is station six. And this is small lymph node. It is in the prevascular space, station 3A. With, small, with possibly small nodes on the prevertebral area in the station 3B. Here, a little bit, little bit down, and here you see station 5, subaortic nodes, station 4, on the left side, station 4 on the right side, lower bower tracheal, and here nodes on the prevascular space. Here at the level of the our pulmonary window or subaortic lymph node, you see large lymph node here and large lymph node here lateral to the pulmonary left pulmonary artery and another lymph node here and this lymph node medial to the ligamentum um, arteriosum it is barotracheal and this is a right barotracheal and this is left barotracheal lymph node as seen here and there and some lymph node noted on the right hilar region and a small lymph node on the prevascular space. Continuation also of the subaortic lymph node here, high love lymphadenopathy here, and large lymph node in the subcarina region here, uh, compressing the right main bronchus, and there is another node on the left high love region. And then it is a station 10. Uh, this is another example of lymph node on the both hilar region and subcarina region. And another example in the hilar region, bilateral hilar region and subcarina region, lymphadenopathy. Here you see the station 10 nodes and this is the baroesophageal nodes and this is the right hilar region and these are the pulmonary ligament nodes and here this is the barocardiac nodes and it is denoted here and this patient with lymphoma with, with lung metastasis and there is also lymph node on the baroesophageal region here as seen in the, on the denoted in number eight. Thank you very much, hoping you will be benefic beneficial from this uh, simple presentation and helping you in your own practice.